In this episode of Watercolor Cards, we are getting fun and fancy free and practicing our super loose watercolor flowers. Hello, my friends, what's up? Welcome back. My name is Shada, and today we're going to get into some more watercolor painting. We're going to create some watercolor cards. I have a little series called 15 Minute Watercolor Cards, and it's been a minute since we've done one of those videos, so that's exactly what we're going to do today. We're doing a fun floral design that is so simple. You could create a whole pack of these in one sitting and have a bunch on hand for friends and family's birthdays or maybe for Valentine's Day. Okay, let's talk about supplies. So what I do when I create cards is I just cut little pieces of watercolor paper to a four by six size, and then I um, just glue them onto blank greeting cards later. You never wanna paint directly on cardstock. I'll probably do all of the painting with my number three pointed round brush. I'm gonna link that in the description, but some countries Amazon does not sell it, so head to the blog for that link. I've got my paints, a little bit of paper towel for blotting my brush, and two glasses of clean water. The success of these super loose and simple watercolor floral cards really comes down to the color palette you choose. So we're gonna mix up some paints and you really wanna think about what kind of colors do you want for your card. Now I'm starting by mixing some yellow ochre with a little bit of brown, might even mix a touch of orange in there. I want a really muted uh, golden yellow. And then for my green, I'm gonna do my favorite green, which is a mix of olive green and deep thallow green. Sort of earthy and very natural looking. Um, gosh, I'm also going to mix up a little bit of magenta here. It's a really dark magenta. I'm not sure I'm gonna use that, but I'm gonna mix it up anyways. And then I'm using a bit of this peach color, Jaune Brilliant, and uh, I like to uh, add a little bit of pink to that, just to darken it ever so slightly so that it really jumps off the white page. I'll probably expand that palette as I work, but it's a good place to start for now. If you would prefer to print and use my card design, all of the bonus content is available on my Patreon site. So that's a great way to support the channel, get lots of extra content like art printables, coloring pages, worksheets, and extra videos. Head over there after today's tutorial and check it out. Okay, let's start painting these cards. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of that peachy color on my brush. And I'll start with the largest flower that I'm going to paint. Now I'm doing a super loose four or five petal flower and you can see I just paint them one petal at a time. So just one or two flicks or strokes of that brush across the page and allow that petal shape to emerge and then just leave it alone. You can refine it slightly, but for the most part, this should be fast, it should be free. It's a great way to just practice your brush strokes and loosen up a little bit and not worry about perfection. Then I'm taking that golden yellow and again we're doing um, kind of the next large or medium sized flower and you can see I'm just running that brush across the page in kind of a spiral motion and allowing these weird rounded flowers to emerge. So keeping everything super loose and I'm actually painting quite quickly. That's not necessary but just whatever works for you so that you feel like you're painting in a really free manner. You'll notice I put a little bit of brown dotting for the stamen. Then I'm picking up that green on the brush. And again, we're thinking about our brushwork. We're just gonna run that brush across the page in order to make these leaf shapes. Something I like to do is start with a light green and then get a little bit of a darker green from the palette and just release it into the wet area. And that'll give you that nice watercolor effect. And I'm just gonna place a whole bunch of leaves kind of bordering the flowers. I want to make sure that when this card is finished, I have this big, colorful, and tight burst of florals. Everything is a little messy, but when it's done, I think because everything is squished together in a really fun way, it's going to look really pretty. 
I also decided to add a little bit of dark blue to my color palette. Now my palette, the Munio set has a navy, like a really good navy, but if yours doesn't, just add a little bit of black or a little bit of purple even to a darker blue or to a medium blue. And you can see I'm doing a smaller flower now. And this is a very loose floral, but it just comes together by painting a couple oval shapes in a cluster. And you could add a little green stem to this, but you don't have to. Try them out at different sizes. You can see I'm just putting one wherever I've got a little extra white space, overlapping some of the leaves slightly. And my burst of beautiful florals is really starting to come together at this point. I don't have a lot of blank page left, which is good. I put a little messy circle at the center of each of those yellow flowers. And then I'm taking that dark brown again and just adding some little stems, maybe a couple small leaves. So you wanna think about a size contrast. You've got large and smaller flowers. Now we're gonna do some smaller leaves. Our, our green ones are quite large. And that's, that's looking pretty good. Now that the entirety of the card is filled in, uh, this step is optional, but I like to take some darker paint and maybe just add a little bit of extra detail. So a line or two on some of the leaves, a couple curving lines on those round flowers, whatever you like, it could be anything. But that's it, our first floral card, we're gonna set it aside, let it dry, and let's just try another one together so you really get the hang of how I'm approaching this and how we're going to approach it. I'm gonna tape this one down down. These small pieces tend to uh, curl a little bit as they as the paper gets wet. Uh, and this one, I am starting with a nice uh, dark peach, and I'm thinking of a loose flower that's kind of like a loose tulip. Just painting these vertical brush strokes, trying to keep it really free. Again, try to do each petal just with one or two strokes of that brush across the paper. Start with your largest flower. It doesn't have to be orange, could be any color. And then for the next flower, I have mixed a lot of red into that magenta that I had initially thought I might use. So I've got a really cool red and I'm doing some tiny flowers here. And again, just a couple um, flicks of that brush across the page to create those tiny petals. And I love the way that peach looks with a really dark, cool green. So what I've done here is I've mixed my um, deep thalo green with a little bit of black actually to give me this really dark, dark green. And I'm just adding some messy stems and leaves. I'm gonna say it again, just try not to overthink it. This card is all about loose and watery and perfectly imperfect. And as I said, I'm moving kind of quickly just cause it feels fun to just, you know, paint without thinking about it too much. I've also mixed up a little bit of this sort of aqua blue and that was straight out of the palette. And uh, this time, instead of doing so many different florals, I'm going to add some different leaves. So this is almost like a little fern and I just do that by painting a, a stem and then adding these pairs of oval shaped leaves along the length of that stem or branch. And I'm tucking in some random blue leaves wherever I might need one or maybe a little stem. I've also switched up the size slightly. Some of those are a little larger, some are a little smaller. So very free, do whatever feels right to you. Then I'm taking a, an almost black brown. So I mixed a lot of black into this brown. And again, same as the first card, a little bit of dotting at the center of each flower. And then for the larger ones, I'll use lines to show that there's a stain in there. And so I'm just doing some delicate little lines and spots and it really brings the flowers to life. And then I really liked the way that that dark color just added a beautiful contrast to this piece. So I decided to add some really, really tiny little leaves to the overall design. And I think that is really bringing the whole thing together in a nice way. Now, as I said, when I started out, I'm doing this whole design with the same brush, but when you're doing these really tiny leaves and flowers, especially if you're a beginner and you wanna switch to a smaller brush size, go ahead and do that. There is no shame in that. <laughs> and uh, same as the first card, I am finishing off my florals with just a little bit of darker paint, especially those big orange ones. They needed a little something, something. And uh, we're gonna let those dry. I think they look good. I'm really happy with how loose and fun 
fun and free they are. And when they are dry, we will put a little Valentine's message on there. But of course, these would be great for birthdays or Mother's Day or Father's Day. Just do your message in pencil first. And then I glued mine to some, um, just some cheap dollar store blank greeting cards. And I think they look so pretty. That's all there is to it, friends. Thank you for watching today. Remember to grab my card design on Patreon and I'll see you soon with a new tutorial.